Hey everybody, I am Keaton, and this is Keep Catholic, uh, and for today's topic, I wanted to talk to y'all about judgment. Uh, like I talked about in uh, a couple of videos ago, or last video, um, there's a lot of division in our world right now, right? That's apparent, and so judgment does happen, and we can look, we, we, can, all, we can all get caught into it, we can look at someone's beliefs, and we can immediately judge that person, right? That's just, that's what we do. And we don't mean to, but we do. We can look at someone's belief, we can look at their actions, and we end up judging them. And that's actually not right. Only God can judge. And so I want to talk to you guys uh, today about that. And so uh, this is this is a big question because. And so uh, this is a this is a big question because as Catholics we don't believe what others believe in, or we don't believe other lifestyles. Right, that people live. If you know what I'm talking about, and yet we're we're not allowed to judge. So where is that balance between not believing in somebody else's actions and judging the other person? Well, we're not allowed to judge anybody as a person, right? But we can judge what they do. We can judge uh, their actions, like Reiner talked about uh, in my birthday episode, right? I, that should have come out by now. Um, and so it sort of can be hard to find when we're judging someone's actions and not their beliefs. But let me use let me use a specific example. If we uh, find a person uh, who is pro-choice, right? We might disagree with the fact that they are pro-choice. We might judge their action. We might judge their belief, but we cannot judge them as a human being, right? We just can't. We're not allowed to. We don't have the authority to. Only God has the power to judge, right? We don't have the power to judge each other. We don't have the power to judge ourselves, right? Only God does. And God does in the last judgment, right? When he decides whether we are going to heaven or hell, he judges us. And he's the only person who can. Nobody else has the authority to because we are his creations, right? So he can judge us. He created us, for crying out loud, right? We can't. We don't have the right to, right? We don't have the right to judge anybody, even if they're the worst person imaginable, uh, like Kevin Durant, for example, I can't judge him. I can judge his action of betraying OKC and jumping on a bandwagon and not wanting to compete for a championship and earning rings that he didn't deserve or earn, getting rings that he didn't deserve or earn, but I can't judge him as a person. And like I said, it can be hard to find this line between am I judging a person or am I judging a person's action? And it can be hard in general to not want to judge a person, even if it's not about a belief of theirs, right? Even if it's just something we, they do, even if it's someone at school who we don't like because they act a certain way or because they do certain things, we can't judge that person. And that is hard to do, but we need to look uh, to God for help with that, right? Because everybody is created in the image and likeness of God, right? When we look at other people, we should be seeing Jesus, right? And so uh, this goes along with not being rude to them either, with not sinning. If we don't judge people, it, it all starts with this. If we don't judge people, then we won't want to go and sin. Uh, or, or we won't want to go and be rude to others, which is a sin, right? We won't want to go and hurt others if we don't judge them. Right. And and it can be hard to get to that point because there are some people who we just flat out want to judge. Right. There are some people like that out there. But uh, like most things in Catholicism, it starts with prayer. It starts with building that friendship, building that relationship uh, with God in order to not want to judge others. Because if we're God's best friend and we know that he is the only person who can judge people then we won't want to. We will want to obey that authority. Not even ourselves. We can't even judge ourselves, right? It's God's, it's, it's God's choice. Uh, it, it's God who decides. Uh, it's God who judges people. I'm sorry. I was uh, blabbering with my words there, but it's God who judges people. It's not us. I want to emphasize that we may judge their actions, however. Uh, so arguments uh, about certain beliefs are fine. Right? I mean, a nice, friendly discussion. I wouldn't use the word argument. A nice discussion about beliefs or a discussion about a way a person behaves. But when we start personally attacking that person, right? When we start personally going after that person, that's when we cross the line, right? When we start personally uh, verbally attacking that person and their family, or I mean, even physically, but I don't think we'd go that far. We're Catholics. Um, but that is when we cross the line into judgment of 
that person. You don't have to like everything that, that they do, but we do have to love them. And this goes along with one of the two greatest commandments. God says one of the two greatest commandments is love one another as yourself, right? We read that in the Bible. The others is put God above all else. But if we love one another as ourselves, if we obey that greatest commandment, which I talked about um, a couple of months ago in a video of mine, if you want to go check that out. Um, I'm talking so fast. Why am I talking so fast? Um, if, 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 if we love one another as ourselves, then we won't want to judge everybody else, right? We won't want to because we'll love everybody else. And we should, but like I said, we don't have to love their lifestyle. We don't have to love their beliefs. We don't have to love everything they do. But we, but we do have to, uh, we do have to love them. We do, we can't judge them, uh, uh, for who they are, but we can judge them for what they do. However, I'm not saying that we should sort of back down from our beliefs or back down from our faith uh, just because we aren't allowed to judge other people. We should, uh, it, it's actually can sort of be considered an act of spiritual, a spiritual work of mercy uh, to kindly point out someone else's sin because I've said this before, I'll say it again. Uh, the ultimate goal is to get ourselves to heaven and to get others to heaven. We want to help get others to heaven. We want to we want to let others know the truth of Jesus, and we want to try to show others the true what is true, the true beliefs that we have, and what is right and what is wrong. And so it, it's not a sin to kindly point out someone else's sin or to kindly point out someone else's action. And yes, it's a risk. If it's a friend of ours, we we risk losing our friendship over that. But it's to do what God calls us to do, right? It's to get others to heaven. And so if we kindly and nicely and honestly try to point out someone else's mistake or action without insulting them as a person, that can actually be considered a spiritual work of mercy. And so we need to work to do that, and it is going to be hard, and it is going to be risky. But, again... It's what God wants us to do. And so we need to try to work to uh, not only not judge others, but kindly point out when others do something wrong or when others have a belief that isn't right. And I mean, this doesn't mean that we have the right to be rude to a person for an action that they do, right? The word judging is iffy here. It doesn't mean that we have the right to go and be rude to somebody. It just means that we have the right to have a nice conversation and, and not like or sometimes not respect uh, the choice or the, uh, the decision that that person makes uh, to judge. It doesn't mean that we can be rude to people. Um, however, it does it does mean that uh, we can't judge them as a person. Like I said, and we need and then we need help with God for this. And we also need to pray for the people who we're having a hard time with. Because obviously, if we're having a hard time uh, not judging someone, then that means that that someone, in most cases at least, uh, has done something pretty bad, or is a pretty bad person, right? But but we can't. We we need to look to God. We need to look to God for help with that, to not judge that person because it, it's going to be very hard. But if we look to God and we love one another, then uh, we can achieve that. And we also need to pray for others, pray for people who, uh, who we are having a hard time not judging, right? Pray for them to God, pray for that person. And then hopefully if we pray enough, like for example, with St. Monica to her son, St. Augustine, that person will come around and, uh, and, uh, that person will stop doing whatever action you might have been judging. What is something that you have had a hard time with when it comes to this topic, right? What is what is a person who you have had a hard time not judging, uh, maybe because of an action or maybe because of the way they act or something? And, and how can you, uh, what has helped you to sort of come around to that person if you have? And if you haven't, what do you think can help you to, uh, to come around uh, on that person? So please put that in the comments below uh, for me. So now that the topic is done, do y'all know what it's time for now? It's time for... The Saint of the Week! So today's Saint of the Week is Saint George, who is known as the Dragon Slain Martyr. Now to get into his story, uh, he actually joined the English uh, military and actually was getting pretty high ranks in there, working for the Emperor uh, Diocletian. He was very good at it, and there are a lot of stories um, about when he was in the army. You guessed it, one of them involved uh, being slain a, tra a dragon. It's a tradition, which him slaying a dragon is probably one of the traditions that isn't true. Um, but, however, that is a lot of times what he's depicted as, slaying a dragon. Um, and it made it really cool to dress up as him for All Saints Day growing up as a kid. Yeah, like the saint who killed a dragon. That's so cool. Um, anyway, 
So he was in the English military until he learned of Emperor Diocletian, uh, what he was doing. Emperor Diocletian was executing any Christians that there were, and St. George himself was a Christian. And he professed his faith to his superior and was like, hey, what do I do? And the superior didn't want to lose uh, St. George. And so the superior told Diocletian. Diocletian knew that St. George was a great uh, soldier, so St. George was willing to keep his Christianity a secret. And St. George uh, ended up professing it to more and more of his, I don't want to call them co-workers, uh, co-army men, um, and publicly. And so other people saw this and knew that he wasn't being executed. So Emperor Diocletian uh, wanted to execute him to have a better public figure, but he also didn't want to because he's George. And so uh, he offered him, uh, uh, Emperor Diocletian offered George uh, money land, slaves, all he needed to do was a sacrifice to the gods, and St. George refused. He refused it, and as a result, uh, St. Emperor Diocletian, not St. Diocletian, he's far from a saint, uh, Emperor Diocletian executed King George. Uh, he was tortured a lot, yet even through all of his torturing, he never said that he would uh, renounce his Christianity, and he ended up being beheaded. He is an absolutely incredible martyr. He's just, overall, just an awesome saint, like a dragon slayer uh, going against his emperor person, a, a dude who wouldn't renounce uh, his Christianity, even through all of that torture. That's absolutely incredible. And any time we might feel like uh, we are facing judgment from others, or we might be facing... Uh, hate from others for our beliefs, we can look to King George because he wasn't afraid of that, right? He stood up for his Christianity and he was loud and proud about it. He was so proud about it, he could have kept his Christianity a secret and been fine, right? But no, he was so loud and proud and we need to be like King George. We can never shy away from our faith like King George, like St. George. We can never uh, shy away from our faith. We can never back down. We always need to stand for our faith, even if that means death, like what St. George uh, did. So we can pray through him uh, anytime we might be feeling uh, that because we don't pray to the saints. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video. Please click the red subscribe button down below and the bell next to it. That way you all get notified when I come out with a new video. Please check out my website, kidcatholic.com. On there, uh, you can read about me. You can check out all my videos. Uh, like I said, you can uh, order your very own Kid Catholic t-shirt. Uh, there's so many things you can do on there. You can watch a video of a talk that I gave recently. You can contact me. If you have any saint or topic suggestions, uh, you can contact me from there, or you can put it uh, down in the comments below. Also, check out all three of my social medias, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. The link to all three of those will be in the description uh, down below. Please like this video, and it would help out a lot if you would please uh, share this video with your friends and family, as well as this channel. Get them to subscribe, and please subscribe if you're not already. So thank you all so much for watching. I think I covered everything. This is a long outro. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see y'all next week, and hi, Brio!